Revelio. Do you want to win this Harry Potter themed mystery box? Stick around to the end of the video to know how. Lucasfilm has had major success with The Clone Wars and Rebels, so here's why Lucasfilm should consider making a Star Wars animated series centred around Luke Skywalker. Hi, it's Kieran here at Raw Review, and the Star Wars franchise is easily one of the most expansive franchises in modern fiction. Since the release of the first film in 1977, Star Wars has expanded into television, literature, comics, video games, and more. One medium that the series has found its most success in is animation. The Star Wars franchise has played with animation since the mid-80s, with the release of the Droids and Ewoks animated show on ABC. However, it has been in the 21st century that Star Wars has really embraced everything animation can do. Under the guidance of Dave Filoni, shows like The Clone Wars and Rebels have deepened the lore surrounding Star Wars, with much of it inspired by the expanded universe stories of Legends, and they have continued to expand the Star Wars fanbase by doing so. As Star Wars has begun telling more live-action stories on Disney+, Plus, the animated side of the franchise has not been forgotten. With new animated series like The Bad Batch, Tales of the Jedi, and Visions, it's clear to see that Lucasfilm is still prioritising animation in the galaxy far, far away. As The Bad Batch will soon be concluding in its third and final season, there is about to be an opening for a new primary Star Wars animated series. While one of the strengths of a Star Wars animation has been the willingness to tell new stories about unfamiliar characters, I believe returning to one of the most famous characters in all of Star Wars would be a smart idea that solves several major issues that the franchise has been facing. So here's why Lucasfilm should develop a new animated Star Wars series based around the adventures of Luke Skywalker they could actually build on the success of The Clone Wars. While Star Wars had produced an animated series before, the first of these shows to find a wider audiences was Filoni's The Clone Wars series, which actually began back in 2008. The series was set between the events of the films Episode 2, Attack of the Clones, and Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith. By detailing the adventures of Anakin Skywalker, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Ahsoka Tanu, and many other Jedi during this time period, The Clone Wars was able to drastically shift a lot of fans' perspectives on the prequel era of Star Wars. The Clone Wars proved that an animated series that features familiar characters does not take away from those characters in any way. In fact, it actually done the opposite. The Clone Wars really developed and fleshed out the characters of Anakin and Obi-Wan, and now many fans view those animated versions as the definitive iterations of those characters. The show did that while also introducing some of the franchise's best characters, such as Ahsoka and Captain Rex, and better utilising other characters like Darth Maul. The success of The Clone Wars has done nothing but strengthen the love for the prequel films, and in doing so, it has brought many diehard Star Wars fans together. A series would also connect Luke to a wider universe. One thing that I feel like Star Wars fans don't understand is that the galaxy is massive, and one of the greatest benefits of the previous animated series has been exploring the different areas of the universe, to make it all feel more cohesive and intertwined. A Luke Skywalker animated series could take its titular character and show how he was also connected to the galaxy at large perhaps even beyond the context of the Rebellion. This could lead to a meeting other characters, such as Hondo Anaka and Hera Syndulla. This would make Luke feel more of a natural extension of Anakin in the Clone Wars, and it would further establish why he was considered such a legend by the time of The Force Awakens. One of the most important things about a Luke Skywalker series is that it would answer lingering questions. Even though Luke is one of the most popular characters in all of Star Wars, there are still a lot of lingering questions about his life. People still wonder about the adventures between the films of the original trilogy, how he sought to rebuild the Jedi Order and what challenges he faced along the way. The series could also showcase how and when Ahsoka and Luke met for the first time, as well as how he recruited students to his new Jedi Order before things turned to disaster. With the divisive direction that Luke was taking in, in Episode 8 The Last Jedi, this animated series could provide additional context, and perhaps redeem the film in the eyes of many fans, just as The Clone Wars did for the prequels. And let's not forget we would also get more adventures with the most popular character in all of the franchise. By taking the animated approach to Luke Skywalker, Star Wars would be providing fans with the opportunity to spend a lot more time with the iconic Jedi. While Luke's story in the original trilogy is already amazingly told and the character is very well established within those films, there are undoubtedly more stories that can be told with that character both during the Rebellion and after. In the Star Wars timeline, there are three years between the events of A New Hope and The Empire Strikes Back, and another year passes between Empire and Return of the Jedi. Those gaps in between films provide plenty of room to tell new stories of Luke and the Rebellion. While many of these stories have already been explored through other mediums, such as the Star Wars comics and novels such as Heir to the Jedi, but those stories could be expanded upon or even directly adapted into a new animated series. 
The series Tales of the Jedi has already verged on this territory a bit, as it adapted a portion of the E.K. Johnston novel Ahsoka. Alternatively, the series could just be set immediately after Return of the Jedi, and detail many of Luke's adventures between the end of that film and later appearances in The Mandalorian and The Book of Boba Fett. Which brings me to my next and final point. There are a lot of potential benefits to telling the story of Luke's other adventures in animation. One of the biggest is that the franchise would feel less inclined to shoehorn Luke into its new live action stories. While it was exciting to see him in The Mandalorian and The Book of Boba Fett, it was also a bit of a mixed bag because they chose not to recast him and instead brought him to life with questionable digital effects. By bringing Luke back in animation, Lucasfilm could avoid the pitfall moving forward. If they want him to interact with other major characters but don't want to recast him in live action, bring those characters into Luke's own animated series. Also one of the biggest benefits of bringing the adventures of Luke Skywalker to animation is that they wouldn't have to recast him at all. That's because Mark Hamill already has an extensive and impressive resume to voice acting in animated shows and movies. After his work on the original trilogy, Hamill went on to become one of the most celebrated voice actors of his generation. With that, it would be no stretch at all to ask him to come back to voice his character for the animated series. This would allow Lucasfilm to tell the stories of a younger Luke again, without having to recast or rely on hit and miss digital effects. But guys, let me know in the comments below, have I got the right idea with an animated series? And if so, would you watch it? And if you want to win this magical Harry Potter themed mystery box, all you need to do are these three simple things. Number one, leave a like on this video. Number two, leave a comment on any of my videos. It could be just as simple as a heart emoji. And number three is the most important, make sure you are subscribed. And one lucky random subscriber will be announced on the 30th of September. You can even hit that bell icon to keep up to date with my latest uploads and giveaways, such as my comic book giveaways every fortnight. And guys, just before I go, if you enjoyed this video, smash that like button. And if you want to see more, then hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, I will see you in the next one. But until then, take care.